down his niche off the bench. Yeah, he's uh, he really brings a lot of energy. He brings um, he's a great uh, uh, backup big to uh, foot, and um, I think he uh, has a lot of poise down there. He uh, knows how to play the game really well, and um, you know, and he's a great offensive rebounder. He just gives us um, kind of like a, a wire to give, give us like the dirty plays, hustle plays. Steve, what was your take on, on tonight's game, or tonight's game, and how important it was? Well, uh, you know, I think it's extremely important. We have a stretch of games, obviously, with Kansas. <clears throat> and the, as the coaches might, I thought this was, I don't know if our guys understand how good the Sal is and how hard it is to win on the road, but I should give them more credit. I, I, I sense that we were ready to go and thought we came out. Obviously, you're concerned when you miss the two of your you know, guys who were in the mix, Lewis and, and uh, Alex. But I also give a lot of credit to the minutes that we got from Max Grove and Andre Wilkins and, as you mentioned, Mark Curry and even Josh Fajini. He comes in, he hasn't played a really valuable minute, yet we kept our lead and then some at the end of the first half, which I thought was huge. And just fun to coach a group of guys that, that don't care how it gets done. Uh, play the game right away. And every single guy that comes in basically does what you ask and then some. Where, where does Ryan's offensive effort kind of break to the ones that stick out to your mind as best? Well, I, I thought tonight, just because they're so athletic and so long, you, you got you to gotta find ways to score basket, especially when you, have, you lose a guy like Lou, who does so much for us against teams like this. Uh, I thought Ryan... And our, and our guys, to be honest with you, they, they hunt them down. They, they find them. Right? I think if you're going to uh, play against us, my, the hard part for me would be not only does Ryan shoot the ball up, but his teammates find him in different ways, whether it's a dribble handoff, kicking it ahead. They know he's looming, and it's still very difficult to guard when the defense isn't set. And I thought he did, obviously, a great job. He had open looks in the first half that he normally makes. He came out in the second half and just you know, put the dagger to it every time he needed one. You guys do anything to the rim at halftime and soften up to the bounce So I thought that one was the main bouncer. Well, I feel feel better for him. His Vikings took it on the chin last night. He's a bear's So he needed a break this weekend. Wow. Looks like, <laughs> looks like your guys have been in several close games this year. How valuable is that experience when, uh, when you're on the road and the team's making a run at you like that? Well, I think we've been in a lot of close games over this, uh, these two guys for sure. Uh, I, I think that's made us a better basketball team. So now, it's one, we're used to playing real athletic teams. And two, we're used to playing on the road. We've only played two home games. And now every game's really close. And it seems like the other team's done great stuff, and we still maintain the, the, the ability to win a game. They make two huge threes in this game. To, we have to make fast. So it's this time we miss one. Yet we still figure out a way to win. I think that's what good teams do and experienced guys. I sense that they're pretty poised throughout the game and it doesn't change in the last two minutes. See, with this road trip and some of the key wins that you've had, I mean, how much of a benefit do you see that the B4 England Ivy competition starts? Well, I think these guys would agree. The toughest uh, games we have are in the league, in particular road games. They play us. To be honest with you, as, as well as these teams play with athleticism, the teams in our league guard us harder. They don't allow easy looks like handoffs or ball screens. You just don't get it in our league. Kids are well drilled. They understand what our guys can do. So we have to earn it. What I do like is that we're figuring out ways to win games when not a lot's going right. You know, we lose two guys tonight. We only go 12 for 18 down in foul shots, which we normally ice pretty well. And a team carved us up pretty good at stretches in the second half. Yet we still figure out a way to win on the road. How much impact to it? Well, that was a great rebounding team that you were very close to. How much of an impact did that have? I'm looking at it again. And, you know, they rebound half their misses. It's, that's why I judge a lot of times. I don't look at you know gross rebounds. I look at percentage of rebounds. They did it almost tonight again. They missed 33 shots in offensive rebound, 15 of them. At least we kept them a little bit under their average. I, I think that was a critical part of the game. What they make you do is you help off so much because you're trying to help on the post-ups. Someone gets a lane, and they have so much size and athleticism. It's a great plan, but I thought we you know, did a great job maintaining that anyway. I thought most guys, all five of us, went after the ball and, and did a pretty good job scraping and, and getting what we could. 
So where does Lou and Alex stand in terms of availability the rest of the week? I think we'll be ready here, hopefully by Bryant. I don't think they'll play today, but I would expect them to be ready for Bryant. Were, were you expecting to have Lou coming in? At what point did you realize he'd be without him? You know, I was hoping that he would uh, make some kind of recovery, but you know, because I, I really thought we could use him on the road. But uh, my trainer and I never you know, deal with injuries. It's hard as coaches, but I, my philosophy has always been I don't even think about it. I ask the trainer, tells me, I move on. And I, and I think in some ways I look forward to seeing how we would react. Uh, you know, Chris playing 39 and playing 38 or whatever. And I was thinking Max would get a chance now, maybe Andre will get to just. In some ways I look at well, I want to see what these guys can do as well.